Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. In this video, I wanted to talk to all NEET UG aspirants with respect to inorganic chemistry. Now, inorganic chemistry ke mein, you all guys know one thing that NCRT is the king. That you have to read NCRT, you have to memorize NCRT, and most questions, not most, hundred percent of the questions will come from NCRT only. Now, how to read? The answer is simple. The same way that you read biology NCRT. You say now, in uh, in as far as biology NCRT is concerned, that read each and every line of NCRT and try to memorize each and every line of NCRT. The same is valid as far as inorganic chemistry is also concerned. In organic in organic chemistry, there are basically three types of questions. One question is ki trend bata do ki electronegativity kaise zada bad rahi hai ya electropositivity kaise zada bad rahi hai and stuff like that, along with some exceptions, obviously. Then there are simple facts which you have to memorize, and finally there are certain things in inorganic chemistry also which are not remembering but concepts, right? So the same way that you like it's literally the same as biology. There are some facts, there are some concepts, there are trends and things that you have to remember, and you have to read the chemistry NCRT the same way that you read bio NCRT. Uh, one really important advice I want to give to each and every NEET UG aspirant is that don't ignore inorganic chemistry. What happens is that we tend to focus a lot of time on doing organic reactions, and we tend to focus on solving and trying to understand the concepts of physical chemistry, ignoring inorganic chemistry. In my opinion, in fact, inorganic chemistry is the most high yield. M minimum number of chapters still carrying 33% of the weightage of the exam. Very scoring, very high yield, and most importantly, I think it makes a difference in the ranks. The reason I was able to get a good rank is because my inorganic Inorganic chemistry was very very strong. People whose inorganic chemistry is strong will perform better than. The end of physical organic is something which pretty much everyone ends up reading. It is inorganic which people don't read. So it will make a difference as far as NANC is concerned. Now, like I told you, how do you read NCRT as far as inorganic chemistry is concerned? The same way that you read biology NCRT. You try to pick up and make questions from each and every line of NCRT. And there are mainly three types of questions that you have to consider: trends, facts, and concepts. So, for example, the simple facts that can be asked is you know mix and match. Which of the following is an Ore of aluminium, which are the following, and or you know, uh, match the following with the ore of the following. Iron ka konsa ore? Ore, okay. Magnetite, hematite, siderite, and stuff like that. Aluminium ka konsa ore? Bauxite. Copper ka konsa ore? Malachite. You know, zinc ka konsa ore? Zincite. And stuff like that. That's pure fact-based question. There will be certain conceptual question. You know what will happen if you add uh, calcium fluoride to H two S O four, and their explanation and solution are given in N C R D itself, and they can be asked in the form of an M C Q format. At the same point of time, there can be certain assertion reason questions that can also be asked. For example, if this this is there, uh, see the statement. It's given in the uh, twelfth ka N C R D. Due to the low boiling point, zinc tends to vaporize when its ore is melted. So they can give you an assertion reason question also. Zinc uh, vaporizes. Uh, when it's over it's melted this will be the assertion and the reason will be due to its low boiling point so it will be one you know reason is the correct explanation for assertion so read each and every line of ncrt for in organic chemistry the same way that you used to read biology ncrt and try to frame questions from each and every line of ncrt oh this is an explanation that is given this can be a potential assertion reason question oh this is a table that is given this is a mix and match and uh, mix and match and fact based question that can be asked Oh, these are the solutions that are given in NCRT. That are the concept-based questions that are going to be asked from in organic chemistry. So, whenever you are reading NCRT, think like I have told before. NCRT is the answer bank. You have to make questions out of it. You have to figure out whenever you are reading, you should subconsciously try to make questions out of it. You should subconsciously try to make a Q bank out of it. Ideally, you should make it on your own, or you can use some books. MTG NCRT or fingertips is a great book in my opinion. Chemistry also. Now, as far as app is concerned, my favorite app, like I keep on telling, the Memonite app. Memonite is an excellent app as far as making your NCRT strong is considered. Having picked up questions from each and every line of NCRT, I keep on repeating the same phrase, and I'm pretty sure everyone keeps on repeating if the the same phrase. कि यार हर line को पढ़ो and Memonite has done just that. From each and every line of NCRT, they have made questions, they have made assertion reason question and MCQs. A really great app. You can use my code Sanjay twenty, my father's and his birthday twenty to get a twenty percent discount. And like I've said before, it's an amazing app for biology. It's an amazing app for chemistry, especially for inorganic chemistry, which will come and not inorganic, I mean organic chemistry, which will hundred percent come from NCRT. So thank you and have a nice day. So this is the Memonite app, and as you can see, it has biology, chemistry, and physics. Biology ke liye toh it's probably one of the best apps. I've recommended it multiple times, but it's a good app for chemistry as well. So let's say you want to practice in organic ke questions and everything. P block elements mein hum let's say chale gaye, and you know start from each and every line of NCERT they are picked. P block elements are placed in which group of periodic table? Ah, uh, ye toh mujhe bhi aad nahi aa raha. Thirteen to eighteen hota hai kya? 
ये हाँ चलो अभी भी याद है ग्रेट सो दैट्स हाउ फ्रॉम ईच एंड एवरी लाइन ऑफ एन सी आर टी दे हैव एक्चुअली पिक पिक अप क्वेश्चन एंड नॉट जस्ट दैट फॉर स्पेशली एज फार एस केमिस्ट्री इज कंसर्न दे हैव ऑल्सो गिवन ऑर्गेनिक नेम रिएक्शन इन वन प्लेस फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री फॉर्मूला इन वन प्लेस ताकि एक बार में रिविजन बहुत आसानी से एक साथ ही हो जाए सो अमेजिंग ऐप फॉर बायोलॉजी एंड अ रियली गुड ऐप फॉर केमिस्ट्री डू ट्राई डू ट्राई आउट द फ्री पोर्शन एंड ओनली देन इफ यू कंसिडर इट्स वर्थ वाइल इट विल हेल्प इन योर प्रिपेशन गो एड एंड परचेज इट